KXLY News Center in downtown Spokane. This is KXLY 4 News at 5. Well, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office on high alert tonight because of a threat made against Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich. A threat to put a bullet in his head because of his opposition to a new gun control measure passed by Washington voters. Yes, a shooting threat by a gun control supporter over Initiative 1639. KXY Force Caroline Rourke was at today's press conference and explains. Caroline? Sheriff detectives are looking into this threat and the man who made it. They haven't identified who that person is yet, but we do know he does not live in Spokane County. And the sheriff says a look at his Facebook page shows a pattern of threats against people over time. The first notice of this specific threat was reported to Crime Check yesterday. A caller said a man had made several threats on Facebook, among those that he wanted to put a bullet in Sheriff Knezovich's head and that he would shoot other sheriffs that didn't enforce the new gun control law as well. Uh, as well. In a press conference today, the sheriff noted the irony and said that while social media threats both against him and in general are more common occurrences these days, they still take everyone seriously. I don't think that we can afford to, uh, you know, to let that type of bullying, because this is the height of bullying, uh, take place. This individual needs to be located, this individual needs to be charged and held accountable. Several law enforcement leaders in Washington state have said they won't enforce the new law as they find it to be a violation of the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution. Knezovich joined that conversation last week saying he agreed that 1639 is unconstitutional, but that he disagrees with his peers and that there's anything in the law for them to actually enforce, saying then and today 1639 gives a sheriff nothing to do. The sheriff's office has passed along what detectives know about this threat so far to the Joint Terrorism Task Force. In studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOI4 News. Thank you, Caroline.